We leave Wheelock and start our journey up the Cheshire Locks, commonly known as Heartbreak Hill. The canal becomes quite rural, with small settlements lining the canal at intervals. Wheelock, Malkins Bank, Hassel Green and Rhodes Heath all to a large extent depended on the former salt works that originally lined the canal banks. Here patches of new housing can be seen mixing with old terraced cottages and wharfs, but we also have fine views of the Cheshire Plain. We finally moor at Road Heath next to Road Heath Rise, an open space with meadows and a woodland on the site of a former salt works. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. And uh, welcome to our vlog. Uh, you join us on a cloudy but dry day yeah uh, not too not too shabby really no no they Is forecast it? rain this afternoon but it's not till late this afternoon so hopefully we'll get through our 10 locks before then yeah and uh, be, be moored up in the dry yeah we need to uh say to everybody happy new year yeah because this is our first recording uh after christmas isn't since it christmas, so, since yeah. christmas yeah since just before christmas so um we've not filmed a great deal because um, just before Christmas I uh, came down ill with the uh, with the flu didn't I yeah yeah so uh, yeah and I'm just yeah. just about just getting, about over, getting over it so it's been three weeks and he's only well he's yeah. still got it really yeah um, but um, it's not <laughs> don't, have to mention, don't have to mention that they don't they don't want to talk know about things. the green fields. <laughs> they don't want to know about things like that. <laughs> oh, too much. Yeah, yeah. So we have done a bit of cruising in that time, but only really short journeys, and we haven't done any recording. Um, so, but it's all yeah, it's all stuff that we've done before. So, um, uh, so if you want to go back and look at some of our vlogs that are coming down please the Trent do. and Murdy, then please do. I'll try and put a link in. Somewhere. Yeah, but you I don't, don't know. actually know how to do it yet, do not you? Yet, that's not, not yet. That's no, not something no, you've Something I'll have to find out how to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Yeah. We, and, uh, uh, we, we spent Christmas with our family. We, we put did. the boat into, a, into the marina. Yeah. And uh, spent Christmas with our family and we had yeah. a lovely time. I think you still sort of comments, answered the comments and what have you, didn't you? So yeah, yeah. We, uh, we still kept in touch that way, but... Um, yeah. I was hoping to put out a um, a Christmas video, Christmas weren't we? Christmas special. New Year <laughs> video, but <laughs> video, he but wasn't well enough. So I just wasn't well enough to do yeah, so. Yeah. So, never mind. yeah. Um, so, so. So today, what have we got to do today? Well, we need to explain that because we stopped in the marina. Yeah. Which we, was in. It was Northwich. Um, near Northwich, yeah. We came out of the marina on the 29th. We've done yeah. a few short hops, haven't we, yeah. in that time? Because that's all you could really manage. Um, and currently we are at Wheelock Wharf. Wheelock Wharf, yeah. Yeah, so we've... Um, we're at the services at the moment, just yeah. topped up with some water. Yeah, we were moored a little bit further down. But we've been here for a couple of days because it rained hard yesterday and we didn't fancy doing the 10 locks in the rain. So... Um, how many locks have we got to do in total? Well, we're, at, we're actually at the start of the Cheshire Locks, um, commonly cool. known by some boaters as Heartbreak Hill. <laughs> um, not because it's necessarily um, steep, it's because there's 26 locks that are, some are quite close together, some are a reasonable distance apart, but not quite enough to get back on the boat, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think the last time we did it, we came through here in about April, end of April. All right. Yeah, about April last year we came through um, and we did 20 locks in one go. Um, but we didn't really stop very much because we were on a mission to get to the Ribble Link, yeah, weren't we? We were, yeah. So we didn't really stop very much. So this is quite nice that we can go back now and do it at a leisurely pace. So yeah. today we're just gonna do 10 locks. Our only commitment really at the moment to seeing anybody is uh, the uh, fuel the boat, fuel boat. We, <laughs> yeah, yeah we've arranged to meet the fuel boat yeah, yeah. Um, they're on their way up and we're on our way down so we're past so each hopefully other hopefully we'll so pick up some fuel we'll pick up some fuel and some some top up our supplies of coal yeah 
after so, other, than, other than that we so, pretty much yeah, take so, our time yeah so should we make a start oh well, i think we ought to yeah yeah because it's nearly 10 well actually it's gone 10 o'clock isn't it is it yep it is oh, 20 dear. past 10. <gasps> so early start then yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so we're a bit late leaving okay um but um I don't I think the locks are not too bad. They're all single locks, so we should be all right. So And with that thought, yeah, we better get Yeah, we better get moving and we'll catch See up you with you on the way. On the way. Yeah. Speak Bye to you soon. Now. Bye. And we're off. Uh bye bye to Wee Lock. It's been nice knowing you. We've got to go in the uh the left hand lock. So this is our first lock of the day. Too bad, the gate's closed. These are uh, quite nice, nice lock cottage there. There's a, uh, a very neat winding hole here, uh, which we've actually turned in. We turned in last year. Here's like the uh, left hand one again. A little bit tricky this one because the wind's blowing the back end round. So, oh, maybe not. So this lock's number 65 and it's our second one for today. And so far these have been double locks, these two. And I think there's more, that most of them, most of the 10 we're going to be doing today a bit have been double locks at some point. to the next lock. This will be the third one, I believe. So lock number 64 and the third one of the day. And both of these were full. So I've had to empty one. And Pat's just on his way. Might That's what he before. gets for Whoa, trying to uh, multitask. Bit of filming at the same time. Telling to uh, close the uh, gate.
These are quite deep, these locks. At least double the uh, depth of the gate. And uh, quite strong current as well once you open the paddles. I've only got one paddle half open there. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of water gushing in. But there's not bad views over there.
like threading a needle. You're just hanging around, are you? You're going to take over? Yeah, that's comfortable. Is that all I've done? You're good like more. <laughs> I'm back on the boat, only for a little while. Uh, we've got a little wiggle going into the uh, left hand lock here, a little bit tricky. So this is lock 60, this is our seventh lock of the day. Pat's done, I did the first three, Pat's done the second three, and it's my turn again. There's another one done, this one's a little bit awkward to get out of, it's uh, over to the left hand side, which makes it a little bit tricky. And 
end up scraping the blacking off. Yeah, that was a little bit tricky to get out of there. Blooming bushes that scratch the side of your boat if you're not careful. I think all the white tape is electric fence, or electrified type fence, I think. Did he make it without a bump? No. Definitely not. I keep trying. I know, I'm very trying. You can't film and steer at the same time. and the locks are just ahead. It's a bit noisy here because of the motorway, but this is our ninth lock and this was empty because we've just passed another boat going the other way. Right, so the update is? We are carrying on. Yeah. We're we, not doing 10 locks. We did 10 locks and we were going to meet more at um is it hassle green or hassle remember. something i can't remember now but we were going to moor after the 10 locks and there were some lovely moorings there with rings sadly it was covered in dog's poop that's our pet hate actually isn't it? yeah and our pet hate is dog's poop and it wasn't just one or two it was quite a bit there it was a lot it was quite a bit oh, let me just move out of the way of the tiller no. Yeah. So uh, we decided to move on. So we're going to do another four locks and then more at uh, Road Heath. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Didn't change again. But it's, sub it's subject to change. But actually, no, we probably will more because 14 locks in one day at this time of year is, is enough. It's starting to get cold. We were... We well, you do if you're on the back of the boat. If you're working hard on the locks, of course, yeah. then you're not. Yeah, yeah. We would have preferred to have moored up after the 10, to be honest. Yeah. But, um. Never mind. Never mind. We've decided to move on. Four more locks, probably take us about another what, hour, I would think. So, at one point, there would have been double locks here as well. So this one's been filled in at one point. At some point. And, uh turned into a little drain-off point and it looks like there could have been a wharf here at some point as well and there's some private moorings on that side of the canal it's pretty flooded there I don't think there's supposed to be a lake there Well, eventually we did 14 locks today so we're a bit cool we're a bit cold um, even though we've done the 14 locks we did take turns and uh, ended up here at Road Heath we are opposite some houses um, but on this side is a bank and a nature reserve of some sort I think so we'll probably stay here for at least a day or two and um, have a bit of a walk round, see what's about and report back. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to. We'd like to read your comments and uh, 
and please subscribe once you've subscribed perhaps giving it a thumbs up there once you've subscribed you can hit the bell icon and YouTube will give you notifications of future videos Thank you.